Welcome everybody. This is a Day Trader Genius Daily Review for February 5th, 2019. I'm your host Scott. Joining us is Coach Rob. Our goal is to show you in a very short period of time that there are opportunities to get fairly good returns on your money in uh, stock options pretty much every day, four days of the week, Monday to Thursday. Uh, we like to have a long weekend. So uh, with no further ado, welcome to the show, Coach Rob. Morning, Scott. How you doing? I'm uh, doing great. Okay, so it's February 5th. I have uh, three feet of snow outside my door. <laughs> I'm not very happy. I'm grumpy. If I'm grumpy, I know the market is grumpy, and there's no way we're going to make any money today. Yep, no way. You might as well just pack it in, you know, light a fire and, uh, you know, read a good book. <laughs> there's nothing better to do with your time. Uh, no, it's kidding, of course. We did have some opportunities on this day. Uh, we always kind of assess the overall day and Tuesday the 5th was not, was not the strongest day. There were a couple of opportunities to, to make a, a decent profit. So let's take a quick look at a couple of those. I want to talk about Adobe and we'll check it out just as we're peeking through the 10 o'clock hour. Let me share my screen. Okay. So we have Adobe here. The story of Adobe so far today was it just, more red than green, but a lot of mixed bag. And much of that has to do with the location, the opening price and the benchmark, which is an important steering mark for investors uh, and a little bit longer term moves. It does affect day trading a little bit, but as Adobe is kind of creeping along, it doesn't know what to do around that benchmark. And now as we're getting into the 10 o'clock hour, it's starting to break down, break nice and low. And we've got market is kind of bouncing, fluctuating. And at the 10.08 time frame, it's it, Adobe seems to be making a, a break down to the downside, uh, despite kind of a flat market. So if you get in there, uh, open up your replay, I'm sorry, your buy close, buy a put at this moment, it's at its lowest for the day. CLV is at two in this moment. And we still got some J stop. We got angle on the uh, risk zone coming down. And this is a low volume move. No, no bones about it. You don't always need volume to make a, a good trade. It does help uh, certainly for, you know, making burst and through resistance and support. In this case, IWM had, had a decent, it's more of like a non-market supported. It's a little bit of a rogue move, but as we're progressing by the minutes, you can see the volume's not really coming in, but we are getting lower lows. So that's a, that's a good sign that we're going to make a decent, decent profit on this and still continues lower lows. We're at 8% just a couple minutes in. And right here is where I would say, okay, we were, we were thirsting for volume that whole time. However, when it comes with a big fat candle like this, volume spikes can be, begin trends, but they can also end trends. And this is a good time right here. We've got 13% in the bag. Might as well exit your position, move on because Adobe has shown a propensity to have a big green candle after some of its big red candles. So you don't want that to happen to you. You don't want to get caught up in that. So leave with 13% and it kind of crept to the side, but then it soon, uh, three minutes later, reversed on you. Yeah, that's a, that's genius. I really like that. Uh, the vol you know the volume spike at the, when you're in it in a trade usually means get out yeah and this is an older trade or an older trend at least um, yes four five six candles in a row going in your direction that's that doesn't happen every time and when you do when you when you get in early in that trend and you get out at the end that's that's a really good feel that's good execution put it that way of and the nice thing about this particular trade which doesn't often happen is you actually had two candles that were very undecided right before yeah. the green one. So this is kind of one of those times if you're kind of like a rookie, the market is saying like, get out, get out. And then I told you to get out and you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> well, fault of mine, right? The old Led Zeppelin song. You're absolutely right. So it gave, let's go back to that because it's an important coaching moment, maybe this is the coach's tip of the day, is just watch the indicators. They'll tell you everything you need to know. There are going to be times where you'll, you'll have a monster reversal candle and you can't see it coming. But in this case, you're absolutely right. 
the writing was on the wall. We had that spike around that 1015 time window, and we know time windows also can end trends. So here it is, it's 1015, and it, it, it's not really telling you anything except, hey, I'm hitting support. And then the next minute, hey, I'm hitting support. And the markets or the minute log is, is reversing to the upside, which means green and opposite of what we want. And then you got a fourth minute. Okay, if you're still in it here, to your point, you've done something wrong. You haven't followed your signals. You haven't followed your rules. So, yeah. yeah. Cool. Let's take a look at one more for today. Absolutely. And so what we've talked about today or today and yesterday the on the fourth was a bunch of stocks but in day trading we we also have at least in trader genius we use four indexes uh, that kind of tell us what the market is doing on that day and in this case uh, so we've got dow jones we've got spy we've got qqq those are our, those are our indexes and the fourth one is the russell 2000 iwm we're going to go a little bit further in the day. A lot of times in the afternoons, I find myself and uh, many of our members find themselves looking at the indexes for kind of those longer moves. That's what you're getting in the afternoon time frame um, is a lower volume. So you need to kind of take longer trades, maybe not having as much volume support. So you just have to be, have a lot of patience, I guess is what I'm saying, and, and watch for the longer moves. But also on the bear side, IWM around this important 1145 time frame. It had been setting up essentially since 1115. It had kind of declared that it wanted to go red, but it hadn't gotten out of that all important risk zone until now. And we've got some VG histo alert. That means volume genius is above 75 and it could result in a volume genius of over 100 very soon. So it's, it's just letting you know that it, it could be coming. We're breaking out. And not only did we break out of the risk zone, but we forcefully broke out of opening price, benchmark, risk zone, and this previous high, which was a 20-day break above. Pretty powerful moment. It's a pretty good time to buy a put, and we'll just see how far uh, it'll run down for us. We'll go one minute at a time. Good start, 2%, 5%, and we're a couple minutes in, 8%. Now you're looking around for exit signals. We do have some market support it's not the strongest we don't have the strongest volume of propelling our move either and but but also you know couple that with there's not a ton of resistance in sight this is probably the first resistance we're going to encounter is that 46 cents later uh, we're going to hit one of the resistance lines let's see what the next minute brings and very similar to what we talked about in our last trade was volume spikes and this is the highest volume we've had for the day. So I think 10% in just a couple minutes is a, a good, good point. We all, we're not going to get, we're unlikely to get down to that resistance line, those 40 more cents. So let's just exit here while we have a profit. We'll throw that right in our pocket and continue along with our Tuesday. Beautiful. Yeah. And yeah, okay, it would have it would have broken down a little bit more. We we like to kind of analyze look twenty twenty hindsight. You just and that's moment, stressful because look stressful. at those wicks on those candles. You're right, and it's it's giving you clear signals with the volume spikes. Uh, there's disagreement between buyers and sellers. We got support lines. Just just better to get out uh, uh, while you're trading into strength. So exit in strength. Exit in strength, right, <clears throat> right on. And we also want your trading to be boring. We don't want it to be full of drama and excitement and heart wrenching, you know, it will it, won't it, uh, standing on the cliff, will you fall or not fall sort of stuff. Uh, if you want drama and excitement, take up parachute, parachuting or paragliding and, uh, uh, you know, or free climbing or something like that, but don't do that with your money. Right. If, if you ride an emotional roller coaster when you're trading, your trading account's going to be a roller coaster as well. It's going to go up, it's going to go down, and you know you go down too far and you're going to be at zero. And that's the antithesis of what we're after here. We're just looking for consistent daily gains, one a day, and shut it down. Exactly. Great. Well, let's take. Is there any more trades you want to do, or is that enough for the day? No, that's it. Uh, 
the Tuesday the fifth was not the strongest trading day, but we got a couple couple of good ones in there. Um, and this is this is exactly the kind of stuff we'll talk about. If if you want, if you like what you saw today, come in for a t uh, free ten day trial. You'll meet with with me primarily or one of the other coaches, and we'll just give you a quick uh, tour around the software talk about your goals, exactly how you'd like to trade, whether that's a longer term uh, options, stocks, or day trading with short trends like this. We got something for everybody. So come on and, and, uh, and meet with me and we'll, we'll see what we can do for you. Great. Can you bring up the review? Oh, absolutely. Sorry about that. There. So, so we had two trades, Adobe, six minutes, 13.2%, and IWM, five minutes, almost 10%. So beautiful day, not a lot of stress, and you can enjoy the rest of it. So thanks for joining us, everybody. Look forward to seeing you on the next show. Bye for now. See you guys.